What's up everybody? It's your girl V. Today I am showing you a part of my collection. This was a requested video. I'm going to have to break this up. I think it would be better instead of making this a long video, although I do love those, but you know, I don't know if I'm ready for that yet. So we're going to start with OPI today and yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so this is my OPI stash. Um, everything is on the floor only because I am in the process of redecorating my or decorating my nail room and I had to paint the walls. Everything is down here for now. Um, so I'm going to be showing you just the OPIs, which is everything you see here and in here, but I'm going to be showing you the ones that are maybe oldest to my collection or the ones that I remember the most, the ones that mean something to me. So yeah, let's get into it. I've got this one that I feel no one ever talks about. It's a really dark one called uh, Light My Sapphire. It's like a navy and it's got this really subtle shimmer in there. Love that. We have this one here, which was from, I do believe it was a Miss America collection. This is Swimsuit Nailed It. This reminds me of, what's that Essie polish? that's really bright blue. Mm. Anyways, Essie has a similar shade and obviously as you can see, I loved it so much. I bought this other one that's super similar, but this one is kind of like, it's got little crushed particles in there. I've got one single polish from the, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Hello Kitty collection because I do enjoy Hello Kitty even though I'm a grown ass woman. This right here is from the Shrek collection, Ogre the Top Blue. I think I purchased almost everything from that collection. This one here that I've never tried, which is Go On Green. And it's one of these super, super liquidy shades. And I don't know if I'm gonna like this. So the goal this year is to try it and uh, de-stash it if I don't want it. This is my darkest green in OPI, Aragon Today, Aragon Tomorrow, which is a lovely jelly. I remember this one from um, James Bond collection, Live and Let Die. This is the collection that had uh, Golden Eye, which I love. This is from a Nicki Minaj collection, so this is also quite, quite old. Look at how the bottle is looking. Um, but what's in, you know, what's inside is just fine. It's what's inside that counts. And this one is Fly, which was basically all the polishes from her collection uh, were based off of what her album, Pink Friday. Yeah. Uh, this one here I purchased specifically for the name. It's got the black label. It's called At Your Quebec and Call. And the reason I purchased this is not because I needed it, not because it was unique, but just because I live in the province of Quebec. This green here is from the Coca-Cola collection. We have this one from the Spider-Man collection. What? Oh, this is not like the movies from the Katy Perry collection. If you've been collecting for a really long time, you remember this and I'm ashamed to say I've never put it on. I was so excited at the time I was just getting into OPI, but since I started in 2009, I just haven't wanted to wear it. I've never worn it. So this is another one to try and see if I want to get rid of it. I love army greens, olive greens. I own lots of them. I probably would not need to purchase another for the rest of my life. This, no wait, this is special. This was not for sale, so I'm I'm assuming this came in with something else that I own. It's somebody to love. I got this around Halloween years and years ago, and this is a glow in the dark topper. I tested it and it actually still works. You just have to charge up your nails, so you put them up to the light like we used to do when we were kids, and it glows in the dark. So I love this. This simply smashing. Yeah. Simply Smashing, which was from a Serena Williams duo that they had at some point. Those two greens are also from the Shrek collection. Oh no, maybe not this one, just this one. This is Did It On Em. I hated that song and I thought that the name was so disgusting, but I still bought it. Don't Talk Back To Me. And I found this at the dollar store. So I got it for like $2. This one is Fiercely Fiona. And let's keep going. This is one of my favorites. This is from the Pirates of the Caribbean collection. This is Mermaid's Tears. <sighs> I love this so, so much. I still got a good amount left. 
I truly, truly want to wear this before it dries out. If it dries out before I get to wear this or use it all up, I'm going to be so pissed. And so I think this year I kind of got to get to it because this was from my early, early collecting days. Another one from um, that collection was Stranger Ties. So what do we have? A liquid sand. I think that one was from the Mariah Carey collection. This purple here is Merry Midnight, which now that I think about it, was kind of unusual for OPI to do because it has flakies and this is really old. What else do I want to talk about over here? I do love this here. This is it. OPI Your So Euro. Stunner, stunner, stunner. What else? There is this one here, which is purple with a purpose. I remember loving the crap out of this. And this was It's My Year. Super pretty. And I remember putting it on and I had nothing like this in my collection and thinking, oh my God, this is amazing. And I wore it again a few years later and I was like, okay. Because now you have Zoya making, you know, tons of polishes with this kind of finish. So I don't know. I'm going to have to try it again and see if I still love it. If not, it's going. This right here, excuse the handle, is the very first, well, I only have two, but it's the very first uh, DS uh, that I purchased. This is DS Original. Well, they were not that easy to find. And I remember going on eBay to find this. And so it kind of has a sentimental value, you know? Lots of purples. This is another polish that I thought I was going to include in a project polish and that never happened. This is a shade that I have to try this year and see whether or not I want. I bought it. It's super, super liquidy and I don't know that I would like that. I don't know that I want to bother. I got to wear it and figure out whether or not this is something that I'm going to keep. What is this called? Significant other color. Okay, what else? We've got my reds. I don't wear a lot of reds, but I've got a couple good ones here. Kenna Bunk Port. This is a like a grown-up kind of kind of red, you know, a very womanly. This is one of my favorites. When I used to work in salons, this was don't mind my pajamas over there. Don't mind my pajamas. When I used to work in salons, this was one of the most popular shades. It's just a really good red, a uh, good blue based red. Um, so yeah, Malaga wine. This one we used to run out of all the time. What else do we have here? Um, is this my favorite? I think it is. Oh, baby, come back. Okay. This is another one that I enjoy a lot. Thriller Brazil, very hot red, very sexy. Love this. This is like my puta red now. I know that's not nice to say. <laughs> and if you don't know what that means, get yourself a friend who speaks Spanish so they can tell you what that means. But if you need one of those, this is it. What else? This is really old. This is from the Muppets collection. It's animalistic. It's got that beautiful pink shimmer in there. I remember this one also. The show must go on. This was from, I think it was from the Moulin Rouge collection with uh, when they had that movie with Cher and Christina Aguilera. Oh my God, I'm catching a cramp. Ugh. That's what happens when you sit on the floor. So we got some pinks, lots of pinks. Some of my favorites would be, I think this one. No, I'm lying. This is Senorita Rosalita. I don't hear anybody talk about this one. It's this berry type shade with a little bit of gold shimmer running through it. But some of my favorites are Dim Sum Plum which was part of some Asian themed collection. And, oh yeah, I think this one, Koala Berry. I like this, which is very, very similar to what I'm wearing right now, but this is, what I'm wearing right now is, I'm wearing uh, Zoya Morgan, jeez. Okay, so we've got some pinks at the bottom. And, you know, basic stuff. Uh, liquid sand, what is this? Pussy Galore. I remember just being like, this is such a naughty name. And here's the thing, I don't know anything about James Bond. I'm gonna be honest, I just collected the stuff, but I don't watch James Bond movies. Uh, I just know about Halle Berry being one of the Bond girls. What else? 
this is mod about you which is super thick and disgusting i should be getting rid of it but i'm kind of just waiting to see if i can find a replacement before i get rid of it and so i'm kind of keeping it there as reference this is a basic that everybody who enjoys opi polishes should have in my opinion this is bubble bath this is your basic uh sheer pink on to the oranges it's a piazza cake which i love this is like the one liquid sand that i did enjoy i think this is the one that's for halle berry it's called jinx it's a very fiery orange with all these this beautiful uh gold glitter in there what else what else so you got you know a few other oranges this is a jelly and i don't know if i like this and i might get rid of this this is big hair big nails I think this comes from like a Texas collection. Look at how liquidy it is. Like this thing will never dry out. On to the next. Ooh. Ooh, guys, I got a big old cramp. So what else do we have? More oranges. Um, my one yellow that I own in OPI. This is OPI the It color. What else do I have? This is uh, OPI My Private Jet. This was also something that a lot of people were enjoying a long time ago oh, let me get my ass up okay guys different angle cuz my leg was cramping up so bad okay another liquid sand this one was from some sort of Dorothy collection what wizardry is this so it's brown this was a good one you don't know Jacques, which a lot of people loved. I'm going to be quite honest. I don't know that this is the best shade for me. Um, it kind of gives me or gives my hands this dead look. I think this looks better on fairer skin tones. This is Warm and Fuzzy from the Muppets collection. This is another unusual one for OPI. This is a throwback. It's Shimmery Chic. This came out in some sort of Christmas collection. It's brown and it's got some flakes in here. So back then that was quite, quite unusual for OPI. And I don't know that I even appreciated it that much because honestly, I think I just swatched this and that was it. So I'll give it a try again and see. But I think that this would be a polish that a lot of people might be looking for, like collectors and stuff like that. Um, the base kind of seems kind of thick for the flakies. I feel like the flakies are probably going to be hidden in the base because it's very thick. So we'll see. One of my favorite brown polishes, which is OPI scores a goal. This right here, oh my god, looks like nothing, but it's amazing. I've got lots of brown shades here. Bronze to perfection. This would have been perfect for fall. I'm beginning to just become a seasonal nail polish wearer, which I never was. I don't know if it's because I'm, I'm growing up. For some reason, like I naturally gravitate towards shades that are appropriate for the season now, which was never my thing. I was the one who wore like lime green in the dead of winter, but hey, people change. This here, I also remember... Um, what is this? Ginger Bells. And I remember Miss Holly Berry's talking about this one as well. But this one I got from the um, Scandal collection, the Washington DC collection. This is Golden Eye. Why am I lying? Rising Star. Rising Star, which is also from that um, Moulin Rouge collection. This is Golden Eye. It requires many, many coats. At least for it to be opaque the way that I like it so my only other DS polish this is DS classic super beautiful um, neutral beigey type of holographic shade my neutrals down here I do enjoy this one tiramisu for two this is a good one as you can tell it's been loved uh, another polish I want to try this year and decide whether or not I'm going to keep or not is this one, which is Pearl of Wisdom. It will clearly not be opaque ever. I also haven't given it a chance, so we'll see. I will try this out and see if I can either find different ways to use it or get rid of it. So we've got the grays here. This one, number one nemesis. So these are all polishes that I feel like today I wouldn't wear them 
because my tastes have changed, but I'm going to give them another try. What else do I have? Did you hear about Van Gogh? This is good. So all the neutrals and then we get into, oh, sorry. We get into the lighter shades and my whites. I have two bottles of my boyfriend scales walls. This is um, designer the better from the Muppets collection, which has already found a home. Um, I'm still working on that, Joe. And see another per pearly type shade. This is, she's golden. So it's pearl, it's got a gold finish. I don't know if I'm gonna like this. All right, so that was it. Um, I was thinking about it and instead of committing to showing you the rest of the collection, which is, you know, a lot of China Glaze, Color Club, Zoya, Essie, I was thinking that, um, if you guys could let me know in the comments whether or not you want to see the rest of the co collection, then I would make the videos and probably still divide them by brand. So let me know what you guys want to see, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you soon. Bye.